everybody, it's Monty. I've decided to add some ASMR content to my stream because I know how to trigger all of the fans. This video will provide the best triggers for Houston Outlaws fans. I know not many Houston Outlaws fans will be watching this video because they're too busy subtweeting me and watching anime, but I hope a few of them like the triggers that I've included here. First off, I want everyone to think about Game 5s and how the Houston Outlaws lose two-thirds of them, and take a deep breath with me while thinking about Game 5. So close your eyes and think about how for some reason, even though they can always win control, or at least much of the time in Game 1, they usually lose Game 5 for no good reason besides choking. So think about game five. The Outlaws haven't been doing very well this season. It doesn't seem like they're going to be able to make the stage playoffs. Remember how last season they barely missed the season playoffs? And maybe if they had just won one more of those game fives versus Philadelphia. They might have made it to the playoffs, and maybe even the finals instead of the fusion. Just something to think about for Outlaws fans. And for this season, remember, the Outlaws are up for sale, and it will probably take a long time for someone to buy them because Optic Gaming isn't doing very well in League of Legends and Optic Call of Duty is basically just a YouTube channel and not the best esports organization and I think that they're overvaluing the team and you may be wondering why this is important but it probably means the, the outlaws don't have a lot of extra budget right now because they're trying to sell them and they don't want to spend a lot of money before they sell the team. So I don't think you're going to get any new players or coaches or improvements to the Houston Outlaws until the team is sold. And that means that this team probably isn't getting any better. This last week, when the Houston Outlaws accidentally put Benny and Boink in in Game 1 on control for no reason other than they fucked up their roster submission. How does this keep happening with the Houston Outlaws? They were really lucky to win that control game without a real flex support on the map. I want you to think about one of my favorite triggers this season, which is 
how many players are going to play Zarya before they figure out who is the real Zarya player on this roster. Why do they have so many problems switching players in and out in different roles? Why was Linkser benched for several games before suddenly playing Zarya? Why can't they figure out who should be in what position? Why does this happen every time there's a meta shift? It's probably because their players have two limited hero pools. Think about that. They can't hire more versatile players, and their players' individual hero pools are small. Breathe in, and think about the roster musical chairs of roles, and how it's never going to stop. Remember the Tracer meta last season and how nobody on this team could play Tracer and they kept losing games. Well, now Clockwork is going to be a coach, and their general manager, Flame, thinks the most important thing Tracers do is d Divas, and that's what Clockwork was good at. Do you think Clockwork is going to coach Dante if he plays Tracer just to d Divas? I have that concern sometimes. Why did this team sign Arhan if Arhan is just going to sit on the bench forever? But even worse, think about what happens if the Houston Outlaws try to put Arhan in and he pulls out his Genji Blade. You remember the Arhan Genji Blades from Apex where he would just slash air? Think about that if Arhan plays this season. Breathe deep and think about Arhan's blades. I used to cast Apex. I hope we'll see them soon again. Let's talk about Linkser. Finland's gift to esports. Why is he so inconsistent? Why is it that one match he'll be clicking everyone's heads and then the next match he can't really even play Brigitte so they have to keep benching him and unbenching him and changing his role? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Houston Outlaws you have a match versus Valiant this week. Valiant is 0-5 and, and has looked really, really bad in the GOATS meta. But so have you. Think about how it would feel to lose to the only team already mathematically eliminated from the Stage 1 playoffs. Remember, Houston Outlaws, 
your last match of the stage, is going to be playing against the Atlanta Reign. Do you think you're going to win that matchup? It's really a battle between the two most annoying fan bases in Overwatch League right now. I think the Atlanta fans are going to come after you when you inevitably lose to the rain in week five. Think about how much experience the Houston Outlaws players have coming into the Overwatch League. They are the oldest team on average, but who is the bright young star that the Houston Outlaws are trying to develop? Who is going to replace the players on these rosters as they retire? There's not a good answer to these questions because they are not signing any upcoming talent. If the Houston Outlaws go two and five in this stage, remember how few games there are in the Overwatch League season. You're already through a quarter of your games, and you've lost five of them. It makes it very, very difficult to make the season playoffs without a significant turnaround. But what meta would favor the Houston Outlaws? Most other teams have really good Widowmakers now, so Linkser isn't going to make that much of a difference. If you're thinking that Jake will be able to save you on the Junkrat, he won't. There are many, many good DPS players, rookies, that have been added to this league that are equally, if not better, skilled on the Junkrat. I don't think there is a metagame that is going to make the Houston Outlaws win more than 50% of their matches over the rest of the season, in which case, with their record the way it is, it will be very, very hard for them to make it into season playoffs. Houston Outlaws fans, would you rather have a team that is looking like a boy band or one that is competitive? You can't have both of these things. You can't have both of these things. Which players will save the Houston Outlaws in the future? Maybe some expensive ones. But that won't come for a long time because the team still has to be sold. I hope you've enjoyed this ASMR segment providing triggers for Houston Outlaws fans. I will probably be talking about all of the teams in the Overwatch League at some point or another. So I'll see you next time for Monty's Triggers.